the last video, we saw what stress and strain meant. In this video, let's try understanding their types. Both stress and strain have two basic types, normal and shear. So there's normal stress and shear stress and normal strain and shear strain. We'll be discussing the former type in this video. That's the normal type. Let's begin with normal stress. When you see the word normal in math or physics, what is it that you think of? The word normal in mathematics means perpendicular. So normal stress is simply the force acting perpendicular to a cross-sectional area. It is important to note that the same applies to the restoring force and the applied force. Restoring force is simply a force that tends to restore a deformed body to its original form. That also is perpendicular. Now let's come back to normal stress. It's a force acting perpendicular to a cross-sectional area. For example, let's take an object, say a beam, and try stretching it. The normal force that acts on it is perpendicular to the cross-sectional area. And if we try compressing it, the force will be perpendicular but in this direction. So it either acts in this direction or in the opposite direction. That's the basic concept of normal stress. Did you know that normal stress can further be divided into two subcategories? They are called tensile stress and compressive stress. Look at the names and try to decode their meanings. You will easily be able to tell what compressive stress means. When the normal force is compressing the object, the stress experienced by the object is called normal compressive stress or simply compressive stress. What could tensile stress mean then? Tensile stress, on the other hand, is a type of normal stress where the force is stretching the object. Note that in this case, the length of the beam will increase. Okay, we stressed enough about the types of stress for now, so let's talk a bit about strain. We know that strain is nothing but the ratio of change in length represented by delta L over the original length L. Since we've already seen what tensile and compressive stress means, could you guess what tensile and compressive strain would be? Yes, normal strain is also classified into these two types. This formula remains the same in both the cases of tensile and compressive strain, except that in the case of tensile strain, delta L is the amount by which the length increased and in the case of compressive strain, delta L is the amount by which the length decreased. In the next video, we will discuss what shear stress and shear strain mean. Don't forget to tune in. 